Hello and welcome with a summary of WTV News. Uh, the National Coalition revealed uh, the agreement blocks to name that defense and interportfolio. For his part, the Alliance for Reform and Reconstruction denied the dissolution of any of remaining eight ministries. MP for the Alliance Ali Zubaydi pointed out that the political negotiations didn't resolve any of the candidates for the remaining ministry, ministries so far, adding that the political blocks waiting for the replacement of names by the Prime Minister and submit them in the sixth session of this November, noting that the Reform Coalition left the selection of ministries, ministers in the rest of the ministries Abdel Mahdi, provided they are specialist and non-partisan. Document revealed a lawsuit against the new Minister of Industry and Minerals, Saleh Al Jabouri, on the charge of corruption allegations when he was a deputy in the Ministry of Planning in the previous government. Administrative court and in document confirmed that the lawsuit was due to a jewelry included a sum of 541 million and 100,000 dinars on the design and implementation of water outlets in the industrial city of Basra, which caused damage to public funds. President of the Republic Barham Saleh and the Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi and Jordanian Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi, who is currently visiting Baghdad during their meeting, the two sides discussed means of enhancing bilateral relationships between the two countries and development in in the region. He also stressed the necessity of unifying visions between the two countries and facing challenges. It is hoped that Safadi will meet with his counterpart Mohammed Al Hakim during his visit. Al Fatih revealed the presence of parliamentary movement to, push, to pressure the government of Abdel Mahdi to remove U.S. forces from Iraq. MP Walid Abdel Hassan said that the movement will ensure the legislation of a law to cancel the strategic agreement with the U.S. side to avoid the need for these forces. Adding that the presence of any foreign troops in the country is a violation of sovereignty and are not welcomed at all. Popular mobilization forces killed permanent leaders in Daesh with the artillery shelling inside the Syrian territory. A statement to the mobilization media explained that it was clear that the military sectors bombed target in which there are Daesh elements in the area of Bazur, noting that the bombing resulted in the death of the leader. Abu Abdullah Ashami, a media official and supporter of the tourist Daesh in the Syrian Bazur. Popular mobilization forces killed a leader of Daesh nicknamed GPS, the organization in the village of north of Muqdadiya in Idiala province. The commander of the 24th Brigade in the Popular Mobilization, Major General Ziad Tamimi, said that the forces of the brigade was able to kill the tourists called Yasser Na'na and the nickname of the GPS organization from the Omar Farouk district, the so-called Diala state, explaining that the killing of the tourists was quality and implemented a force from the Special Forces Regiment of the Brigade in the village north of Muqdadiya, northeast of Diala. End of the summary. Thank you for watching.